Within Cristiano's mind, there's a purpose. I've never seen anybody advance themselves so quickly. I know that he came to use United as an apprenticeship. He wants to be special. He can't help it. My office was always in the gym. So I was always available for anybody whenever they wanted to talk. It's listening to the player and finding out what they need in their minds. That's the key, the important key. It's that mind of the person. I'd seen him play over in Portugal and it was fabulous to watch him and the way he was. And then Carlos Quiros had told me about him, you know, so I, I watched him and I think Carlos wanted to know what I thought about him. And then um, I'm back at Carrington and I'm in my chair in the gym and this young lad turns up early in the morning. He come in and he said, I've heard about you and I know that you do a lot of work individually with a lot of the players. And he said, I'm going to be the best player in the world. The thing about Cristiano when he was at United, I know that he came to use United as an apprenticeship. At Carrington, there was a, an hill at the back, just away from the training ground. And he used to go behind the hill and do his training on his own. And I asked him about that one time, you know, and he said, well, you know, there's nobody there, so I don't have to worry if I do a skill wrong or anything. I can practice it and nobody's watching me. So you're not worried, you know, so he practiced everything, you know, for a few days or whatever. And then he'd go and take it into training match. I remember watching him in matches, he'd make a mistake or get caught. He'd fall down and then you have the crowd shouting at him, players shouting at him. It didn't bother him. He didn't want to make mistakes, of course. But then he would know, this is the bit that I've got to work on. And he'd go on and work it. Everybody's taught with the end product and that's what he's got to deliver. I mean, the tricks, the party pieces are all very well, but what you've got to define is whether you want to play with them or against them, as I said, at half time. And still, the jury would be it. He took a lot of stick. Now, the trouble is with taking stick, it can knock your confidence. But what he really liked doing was the boxing. Now, he wasn't anywhere near as good as some of the other lads, but he wanted to keep going with it because he saw the shape that he was getting in to throw these punches and the movement. He could see that that would be good for his own confidence. He's not built on being really, really strong. It's about being powerful. And where's the power from? From here. His style was about attacking, going at people and having that fast movement. But the most important thing for him is, I'm going to score a goal. And that's got to be the thing, because it's the most important thing in football. So that's always in his mind, score goals, score goals, score goals. When you work, uh, the goals and the nice things is coming. And this is what I try to do every time. He has belief in what he's doing. He has belief in what he's saying. And the thing that will mainly make him believe what he's saying is when he sits back and watch what he does after he's done it. He's seen himself doing that and thinking, wow, that is amazing. And I want to do it more. We hear these things about people saying he's vain or he's big-headed. It was not, not big-headed at all. It was a really nice lad to be around the place, seeing the work rate. It was above everybody else. People said to me, oh, that, how did you get that skinny kid into that big muscly guy in six months? There was never any skinny guy anyway. I had a great physique when he first came. But it took five and a half years that we worked together for him to produce what he wanted to produce. It takes time. I think we did well together. And he's been a bigger influence on me. And I think that he's got big plans for the rest of his life. It's not just about playing football. There's no magic pills on a journeys like Cristiano Ronaldo's. It's all about hard work, day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out. He's an absolute genius. An absolute genius. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.